Hi. If you play a musical instrument and read music on a music stand, here's a little scenario you might be familiar with. Anyway, you get the idea. Too many pages of music to see on your music stand. So, you know, the standard solution is to get a second music stand, set it up next to it. You know, that works. That works. But of course, uh, you have to have access to two music stands and not mind going through all the hassle. But I have a solution. I dreamed it up myself. Check it out. Made of plastic. I keep it in my music folder. Not much bigger than a sheet of music. <laughs> Holds five sheets, five pages of music right out where you can see it. I must confess, I'm kind of stoked about it. It's nice and lightweight. Works on any music stand, small enough to keep in your music folder without even noticing it's there until you need it. Very handy. So anyway, um, a lot of people I play with are pretty excited about it. I've made a lot of them for my friends. Um, and so, you know, I thought about marketing them, making a little money, but uh, I just decided I don't feel like going through all that hassle so instead I'm making a YouTube video to show you how to make one of your own. Let's go do it. Alright here we are. We're gonna make one. My groovy plastic folding music stand extender. Kind of needed a sort of a product -y kind of a name so I'm calling it the folder mate music stand extender. Keep it folded up, keep it in your folder, your music folder. Lightweight, this is it folded up. And to set it up to use it, you open it out flat, and then you fold up the tray section like this, and it's this right angle shape of the tray section and one solid piece of plastic that holds the whole thing rigid on your music stand. That's kind of the key to how the whole thing works. So, let's make one. The material is called HDPE, stands for High Density Polyethylene. Uh, it comes in sheets 24 inches by 47 inches. I get it at a, a retail plastics outlet here on the west coast called Tap Plastics. Um, I don't think they exist uh, in the east of the United States, but uh, you may have a retail plastic supplier near you where you can find this this stuff. Um, uh, Tap Plastics looks like you can go on their website and order it um, online. Um, it's 24 inches by 47 inches by 132nd. Comes in multiple colors. Um, anyway, since it's 24 inches and our music stand extender is 12 inches, not coincidentally, we can just cut this in half lengthwise and make two of them out of one sheet. One sheet incidentally uh, costs less than 10 bucks. So, you know, for an investment of 10 bucks, you can have two of these things. So, let's start by cutting it in half lengthwise. Uh, I've already made marks here at 12 inches. And uh, it's real handy to have a nice long straight edge. You can do this with uh, a, a much shorter straight edge in like multiple uh, sections at a time. But uh, it's, it's a lot easier if you can do it in one long uh, continuous cut, right? And another thing that makes it a lot easier to deal with is uh, to be able to clamp it down to your workspace because um, 
the plastic is a little bit slipperyish, and uh, you know it's good to be able to clamp it down or have somebody else help you hold this in place while you cut it, so you have a nice uh, straight cut. So nice sharp utility knife. And it takes two or three cuts, two or three passes to cut it clean. And uh, we can put this aside for our next one. And now we cut it to length. The folder mate music stand extender is uh, 38 inches long, so. Uh, you want to cut this to 38. The sheets don't come necessarily exactly square, so what I like to do is measure like 38 and a quarter and cut, cut it off nice and square, and then go back and cut the extra quarter inch off nice and square so I have a nice square sheet to work with. So, let's do that. You can mark this with just a pen or a pencil. Um, on the black, it's sort of just sort of barely visible, but visible enough. It's also real convenient to have a square like this, so that you can uh, just put one mark, and I know you're cutting a square thing instead of you know you could put a mark measure from from here, and I measure from here, put a mark here, mark here, use a ruler, it just goes faster. Hang on to this, we'll use it later. There. Now I've got a nice piece with square ends. So now we have to make scoring cuts, kind of shallow scoring cuts for the folds. Because uh, you know you can't just fold this stuff because it's uh, it's too tough, it doesn't work that way. You have to cut into it a little bit. So it's in four sections. 38 inches long. We're going to make one cut for the middle that bends this way, and all the other bends bend the other way. So make the, all the other cuts on the other side. So we'll start from the middle. Half of 38 is 19. Ah, uh, here, key point, how deep do you cut? You don't want to cut all the way through, obviously, so this is what this is for, to experiment on, to give you a sense of how much pressure to put down on the, uh, on the knife to give a nice effective uh, score. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So, this experimental cut. 
I just kind of, I don't know how much pressure this is. Uh, two pounds, I don't know. Anyway, a nice kind of light. It's enough to cut a third of the way through, a quarter to a half of the way through. You kind of cut into it and then you bend it back. And voila, that works good. Just do this a couple of times until you get uh, a sense of how much pressure to bring to bear on the knife to give you a good cut here. Uh, you know, a good, a good fold. So, now I can do the real thing. Nice light scoring cut. That's this one. Now we're going to do these. Turn it over. The middle was 19, half of 38. Half of that, half of 19 is 9.5. So uh, let me just measure 9.5 from the end here. Voila. Now we got our, our vertical scorings for these vertical folds. Middle one, these two side ones. And finally, from the same side that we do these side ones, the same side of the plastic, we do this long one for the tray. The tray is one and three quarters of an inch. Uh, I just mentioned my music stand. Seems to be a good number. Now you kind of bend the plastic where you cut it, making sure that you bend the right way, right? The cuts are on the outside of the bend, not, not, on, not on the inside. So uh, you just fold it like that. Fold it along the middle one. Along the other one. And then fold up the, the tray fold. Just kind of crease it all the way down. And there it is. Uh, just as a last sort of finishing touch, I like to to cut off the corners because they're kind of sharp and pokey and annoying. Uh, I just kind of cut an eighth of an inch off at a 45 degree angle. Voila, one folder mate music stand extender. Uh, now just a little orientation on these things. Uh, you wanna, in using these, you wanna make sure you don't, you know, fold them the wrong direction, right? Because they've been cut on one side and not on the other. And it's the side that's not cut that's staying intact and holding the whole thing together. So, you know, if you take one of these, Nice demonstration, that was a good, nice, nice fold. Nice demonstration of what happens if you fold it the wrong way. Ouch. So don't do that. Just remember, you know, you keep it stored in this zigzag fashion. You open it out in kind of a W shape, right? Turn the tray up to put it away. Flatten it out and bring the middle section up towards you. And the 
other ones the other way, zigzag fashion. Just don't fold it the wrong way. Uh, and it should last quite a while. Mine, uh, I, I've had one in my uh, in my gig bag for a couple of years that I use every week for big band rehearsal, and it uh, they seem to last for a while. And they're cheap. You can make two of them for an investment of less than ten bucks of plastic. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hi. If you play a musical instrument and read music on a music stand, here's a little scenario you might be familiar with. Anyway, you get the idea. Too many pages of music to see on your music stand. So, you know, the standard solution is to get a second music stand, set it up next to it. You know, that works. That works. But of course, uh, you have to have access to two music stands and not mind going through all the hassle. But I have a solution. I dreamed it up myself. Check it out. Made of plastic. I keep it in my music folder. Not much bigger than a sheet of music. <laughs> Holds five sheets, five pages of music right out where you can see it. I must confess.